What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Top 10 Tuesday. We are here. It's just Michael and I this week. Uh, we had a guest lined up. Uh, f- fell through. Just postponed till next week. So, it's just us today. Sorry, guests. Sorry. Control your team. Control your team. If someone doesn't show up, it's next man up. No one stepped up to the plate. Um, So, sorry about it. It's just us two. You won't have a chance to win this week. If I remember correctly, are we all tied at two all? Yep. All right. So, this is an important week. This it is. is a, because then we're one way from a, a clincher. Mm-hmm. If one of us wins it, which one of us is guaranteed to win this week. So, Correct. nice. Nice math. So this could this we should have we could have a third option that's just nobody wins. Yeah, like no, like the the lists are so bad. No, because everyone would vote that immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like that, like I know I know the fan base well enough to know that they would just vote that because it's funny, fair. Yeah. But like we can't give them that option, and I'm leaving this in. I'm t- I we're not giving you that option. Um. All right, today. We are doing – what do we decide on how to title this? Top 10, like, drinking habits? Whoa. That's – Or, like, things you, you do when you're drinking. Things you're doing when you're drinking. Yeah. Whatever you send the text. Yeah. The way I just – Habits are different than things you do while you're drinking, you know? It's different. I agree. I agree. What did I say? <laughs> things you're Things just... to do when drinking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I should do laces or uh or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I will say I have a few. Yeah, I guess all my fit. Never mind. I have one honorable mention too. Okay, fair enough. Um, are you gonna cover it up? Laces. I'm gonna throw it on the ground. Oh. What do you mean throw it like whatever's facing up? Yeah. That's not how that works. You're supposed to like never mind. That's definitely how it works. But like okay, then I would just say no laces because like the way gravity works, the laces are always going to be down. What are you talking about? Laces will always be down. That's uh, gravity. It's literally up right now. No, it's not. It's literally not. You bitch. Up. That's not up. That's like sideways. Yeah, but the majority of it is up. So if I, I mean, this is the dumbest. Camera, this is the dumbest way to figure. If this I could out. flip my camera, the majority is up. Okay, you can decide the order. I don't care. I don't care. The order literally means nothing when there's okay. two of us. Ready? <laughs> laces or no laces? Call it. I'll call it in the air. Laces. Bang. Um, I'll go second. All right. It's fine. All right. All right. So now my number ten is pretty simple. Good, easy way to kind of move into this list and just start things off. It's just being at the beach. There's a lot of different things to do at the beach, um, but the overall um, aroma and vibe when you're at the beach, not aroma, that was that was a bad word to describe it. Aesthetic. Aesthetic of beach drinking is unbeatable. Well, I guess there's nine things that beat it, but it's it's truly like no other. And it's always refreshing to have a beverage when you're at a hot beach and, um, you know, sand, toes in the water, you know, ass in the sand, beer in the hand. That's the, the line. That's, I think. that's the line. Yeah. That's the line. So, yeah. Being at the beach. We're, we're going to have very different lists. Probably. And immediately. I know we're going to have very- minor things you can only do when drinking or like you major- like, never mind. Like- we'll just. Driving and okay. yeah, yeah, all those things. Um, all right, my number ten. Uh, this is a hypothetical. It's nothing I would actually do. Uh, if anyone's listening, I never, I've never done this before. Um, it's all hypotheticals, but uh, stealing random things. So you know, you're out like at a bar, or, like you're out just like walking across camp or something. Something about you have a few drinks in. You're with the boys. You're with the crew, and uh, you just want to take a souvenir for a fun night out. There's mm-hmm. something about I don't know what it is. I don't know it, like why we do this um not we hypothetically this is other people we've never stolen anything how would you um, know that it's fun you know? well i just like you know like word of mouth word of mouth people okay. talk yeah yeah uh, but stealing random things for it, it always comes up it's always like hey dude let's steal this what if we stole this thing uh it always comes up to other people as they're talking about it and they just like pass it on to me as i'm doing homework in my room yeah. um but yeah, so, so stealing random things is my number ten. Hypothetically, you gotta have a souvenir for the night. You have to. That's nice. 
So my number nine is a lot different than my number 10. Let's just say that. Um, so I personally like doing this. I think my drunk self likes doing it. My sober self doesn't like as much. Um, and so that's sending texts, sending drunk texts that I regret the next morning. Um, it's great nice. in the moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the night. But the next morning, obviously, I'm not drinking anymore in the morning. And I don't like that, that myself mm-hmm. did that. But you know what they say, drunk. Text, words. drunk, th- uh, drunk, drunk words drunk or sober words. thoughts. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And so really it is just a sober thought that I was having. But, you know, they tend to slip out, you know, the drunk Snapchat, the drunk, drunk text mm-hmm. um, when you're drinking. And in the moment, I don't regret it at all. And sometimes Sorry. I still don't, so. I don't know. I I almost had that. On, I was very close to putting that on my list. That was probably an honorable mention for me. Um, but I, I appreciate you doing that mm-hmm. because it hammers home the fact that this isn't top ten like best things. Because sometimes you regret it. You regret, I mean, yeah. my, the last two ones not good things, but they're top ten things that happen. They just happen. Yeah. Um, it's definitely my top ten most common things I do when I oh do. for top sure. Top. Yeah, there's some like. It's so funny because it's such like a common trope. Everyone brings it up like, oh, like drunk texting your ex or stuff like that. But it still happens. Mm-hmm. It's still even though like you're so aware of that. That's a thing that people do and that we do as people. Yet we do it anyways. And we know like we're, somehow our brain convinces ourselves like, oh, not me. I'll, I'll like it's different for me. It's a different situation. No, it's all the same. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It never works out. It's never been a positive, positive moment from that. Um, I think I, I disagree. I think there is some positives sometimes. You never know. We can agree to disagree there. Um, my number nine, uh, this is something that happens. Uh, it's more of a 21st century idea. Uh, it's something that happens very often when you're out with the boys. Uh, this is verbally agreeing to starting a podcast with a friend. You know, you have that conversation, you're sitting around, you guys think you're hilarious because you've had a few Bud Lights, and also, dude, we should start a podcast. It happens literally almost every weekend across the country, all the boys go out, everyone thinks, I should start a podcast. Dude, we're hilarious. What if we just, like, mic ourselves up right now? Just, just sh- we, gotta sh- we gotta shoot the shit, man. That happens literally all the time, um, and it's really funny, uh, especially because we're doing this on a show that could text and be technically be considered a podcast um yeah so starting uh, verbally agreeing to starting a podcast with a friend is my number nine i <laughs> i'm gonna agree to disagree what? i i think that's just a bit i hear that whole you know like that's just like kind of a meme like the ho- like the whole like guys just hanging out and be like oh we should start a podcast but nobody like says that no it became it's a meme a though it's a bit it, like i think that whole like oh let's start a podcast like that's a bit no, it became a it, meme. Like, it became a meme in a bit because it was once true. I think we've gone full circle. I agree. I think yeah, we've gone back. So now it, I say it ironically. I say it ironically now. Yeah, it's 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 not like people don't actually <laughs> say that. And honestly, I think I do that more sober where I'm like, you know what? We could totally be a podcast or I could totally be a stand up comedian when I say sober, funny things compared cool. to drunk, funny things. So I had that's just more a sober thing for me. I had a great I had a great idea that is very in line with what we're talking about right now. I think you should own a or we should buy a bar because we always say, oh, we should buy a bar or whatever. It's, Anyways, you get a bar. It's not a full bar. Basically, it's one room with like where you, you sell alcohol and you have one table that some a group of friends can rent every night or for a night. And when they show up, like they buy drinks, all this stuff. And there's podcast equipments and mics. And they record themselves just talking, hanging out with their boys all night. Hear me out. This podcast, they agree. They sign waivers, whatever, for the night. It's posted online. Like So every night, there's a new podcast of a random group of people that us listeners have never met. And it's just them talking. And then we make money up on the bar based off the money in the podcast. They agree to it. All of a sudden, they have a night with their boys, which is out on the internet. Maybe it does well, and they can like stuff happens. I think it's a really cool idea. That I, that actually is a really good idea. I at the, at, at that first when you were kind of starting to explain it, I was mm-hmm. like, "Is it literally just going to be a bar with a table where people? Nah, because if so, like they could <laughs> do that at their house. It's like what yeah. is? And then, but that's kind of a good idea, especially because that's kind of like the slice of life 
idea yeah. of a podcast where it's like random people. Yeah, it's like people of New York where it's like one person glimpsed into their lives, but it's just the boys like drunk, yeah, drunkenly talking about stuff, which would be fun to listen to. I think as like bar owners, you would have to kind of we would have to kind of audition them to know they're like you know like not weird slash could make a decent episode you know i feel like there would i feel like there would also be enough demand for it that you need kind of a little audition process couldn't just let any group yeah. of guys put the money to to yeah. just do it but you know think of like find, <laughs> you know? and it could help get people's names out there at the yeah same. and think so of them kind of a good idea it's yeah. very low maintenance too like you really only have to be open for like an hour and a half a night and just have one bartender serving these guys drinks whenever they want them. And then your bartender could also be like a monitor of like, is this appropriate? Make sure like, mo- like censor them, you know, because like, obviously you're going to run into issues of people like saying stuff they shouldn't say so they can monitor it while they're there. It's just like a little small room. Boys to get- I stand by the it. bartender I is the regular on the podcast. That's <laughs> yeah. Like, like the host, he's the one consistent. Yeah. Actor. Yeah. I do. I think it's a great idea. I'm going to clip it's this, put it out. Podcast. If people, and do this. People like this? We should start a bar. That's also a podcast. And call it Puzzles. Call it Puzzles. I'm in. And then people are like, why, why is it called Puzzles? That's the puzzle. That's the fucking That's puzzle, puzzle, man. That's the puzzle. <laughs> um, All right, Izu, you're up. Number eight. Yep. My number eight is simple, yet effective. When I think of when I'm drinking, what am I doing? And I think of a simple thing. I also do it sober. But when I'm drinking and doing it, it's more fun to lose money. Um, it's more fun to um, watch and that is watching sports when you're gambling on them so like live betting slash gambling on sports when you're drunk it is easier to press the button to send the bet Mm -hmm. it is easier to i don't know it it makes it more fun to watch especially because when you're drunk you could easily get distracted but when you got bets online you got money on the line you're you know you're more Mm -hmm. tuned in um and so if you're having kind of more relaxed night you're not going out to the bars the clubs whatever like that you're kind of just having a an easier night with the boys and kind of just watching sports it's it's fun to drink and gamble yep i two two normally negative things equal positive you know (laughs) that that math phrase two negatives make um that they add to positive so exactly um i initially thought of there's always uh when this when this happens for me it's always i have a bet i place a bet i feel good about a bet sober I go out, have a couple Bud Lights with the boys, and then I'm watching the game, and it's not looking good for me. Like, let's say the team I bet on is, like, down 14, end of the first. That's always when I end up, like, convinced. I'm doubling down. Yeah. Double down. double. I always double down, and I'm addicted to doubling down, and it's so bad. It's so bad because, like, something's not going well. And I'm like, you know what? I trust my gut too much. Double down. It never works. Also, kind of um, in addition to this, what I think, um, like specifically what I like doing the most when I'm drunk and I'm like watching a game, if I'm like watching a football game, let's say it's like week four or five of the NFL, I'm at a bar watching a team. I'm like, oh, they're playing well. It's just drunk futures bet. Oh. That they're Super Bowl. It's just super like futures Ooh. bet, like boom. Or like, Ooh. oh, MVP, boom. Or like I'm watching a baseball game. Oh, that guy's winning Cy Young. Like that was a nasty pitch, Cy Young, you know? It's yeah. just like, the future bets that like are – plus 2000 odds that are probably not going to hit, but it's just like, what's, what's a dollar or two, you know? Yeah. I almost threw a couple uh $1 Heisman uh, futures on just like random quarterbacks from like, In uh, I, I saw him, he saw his odds up there. He's like plus mm-hmm. 20,000. Um, but yeah, I almost did that today, but yeah, I, I've, I'm usually not patient enough for futures. I need like instant gratification or suffering. Um, but yeah, I can I can see that. Um, my number eight. Uh, this is this is something that uh I tend to do a lot, or people like to say whether it's true or not. But it's uh becoming best friends with the bartender slash Uber driver. Everyone, this for the most part, it's never true. They were like, dude, my Uber driver was so chill. Like he was so cool. Like we got like all that, like that's just because they're like a normal person and they're sober and you're drunk. Like that's. Like they're gonna be like if they're funny at all, if they crack one joke, you think they're immediately the coolest person ever. And then people also try to like be best friends with the bartender to try to like get a free drink or something. Never gonna work. They're trying to make money. Never has 
once worked. But I will say the bartenders at uh Moore's at, in Greencastle, the only bar in Greencastle. I was um, gonna say there's bars in Greencastle. Yeah, it's like it's basically the size of this room, but they're awesome. Then when they like they're like regulars, they just literally like live there. They work there all the time, and we just hang out with them, and it was great. But like becoming friends with the bartender, becoming friends with the Uber driver, you're a lot more friendly. You're a lot more bubbly when you're drunk. Um, so yeah, I think that's 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 my number eight. Yeah, I so I was gonna put in something with Uber drivers, and like, cause I when I'm drunk, and I'm in an Uber. <laughs> I love purposely making it awkward, you know, cause you you hear like you know like the typical Uber conversation like. Oh, has tonight been busy? And like, oh, like how long have you yeah. been driving for? Like the classic, like questions that everybody asks. I like to ask those, like, just like ironically and just the most awkward way possible. No caller ID. Huh. I was gonna say it sounded like you were getting a call there. I know it was no caller ID too, which is weird because I feel like I get you know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, but my number eight is similar to that. It's still no, about you're, you're seven. Seven. My number seven is about the the way you get to a bar and it's walking to a bar and it's when you're leaving the pregame everybody's hyped up from the pregame you're you probably have a roadie in your hand and you're walking to the bar and this is assuming you know it's a manageable walk where you're not you know it's not like a stupid long walk and everybody from the pregame is just all mobbing to the bar together i think it's a great sense of you know, it's it's quiet and peaceful because when you get in the bar, you know, it's going to be loud and everything like that. And you're just having a good time that in between the pregame and the bar um, is a very underrated and, and undervalued time. But I, I really uh, I find it to be very fun. Um, and you're, you're still drinking while you're while you're going there and walking there, finishing as as many as possible before you get in the bar and have to pay, you know, five times the price for that same drink. So um, it's definitely it's definitely a fun time. And as long as it's, you know, not obviously like raining and terrible weather conditions to walk to the bar with everybody at the pregame or just a few of the people or it's a fun time. And you get for the day. Yeah, I agree. I think that's very, it's very, for normal people, that's awesome. For me, I get like anxiety, like trying to finish my, like time up my drink, like grabbing a roadie. I get anxiety trying to like finish my drink by the time I get there and end up like chugging it way too fast. And I'm done. And like, I'm always worried. I don't like it. And like, it just shows my anxiety. I hate it. I like, I hate having a drink on the walk to bar. I'm fine if I don't have a drink. I just enjoy myself. Um, But if I have a drink, I'm always trying to time it out. And that's all I'm thinking about. That's literally the only time I think, like only thing I think about during that time, which sucks. Can't enjoy it as much because it is awesome. It mm-hmm. is a great experience. Uh, I just can't enjoy it as much as normal people, I guess. You just gotta, you gotta master the game of the perfect yeah. timed beer. Yeah. Or drink <laughs> yep um all right my number seven uh this is it's kind of like i don't know how to describe it. it's in this own like loopy world of like drinking festivities but it's uh it's the darty transition nap that's what i decided to call it basically mm-hmm. it's uh back in our college days when you had a little like darty you know starts at like mate who knows one two you're chilling maybe what football game um, you're, you're just, you're darting, you're darting all afternoon and then you get home and it's like, what, seven, maybe eight, six, even could be six or seven, five, I think six, six or seven. Yeah. Five, like six. late afternoon. And then that's when you take the darty transition nap where, you know, it's Saturday. You're probably going to go out that night. Little, it doesn't have to be a nap per se, just laying down and decompressing. After like a darty getting ready to go out again, that little transition period when done correctly can be awesome. You can fuck it up. Mm-hmm. You can easily fuck it up. There's plenty of ways to fuck it up. But if it's done correctly, I think it's awesome. It's really fun. Just chilling. Yeah. I mean, I think it's one of the <laughs> kind of going off the vibe of just doing a fantasy football draft. Like it's got really high upside, but it's got like a low ceiling, you know? Yeah. Wait, no low floor. Low, low floor, floor, low floor high floor, ceiling, high ceiling. Yeah, it's got a high ceiling where, like, done correctly, you're gonna be, you know, ready to go at night, and you're gonna be well energized, ready to just get after it. But like, there's gonna be people that, you know, take the risk and do that afternoon nap and just don't make it out after, which is sad. Exactly. Right? So it's it's 
it's you got to know if it's like for some people like i really can't nap that much or i'm gonna be oh, out. yeah i can do 45 minutes max maybe depends mm-hmm. on how tired i am but like it's just sometimes it's not worth it you sometimes you feel droggy and stuff yeah there like it's it's really it's i, I agree i i can't nap per se so like i'll lay down and do nothing and i consider that a nap like i like just turn my brain off for like an hour or two we're like nothing i'm not gonna drink anything else i'm not gonna like try to do anything that causes any kind of like stress i'm just gonna lay down and decompress for like two hours that and i even consider that a nap even though i'm not asleep i just like throw something on a football game of like i mean that's not a nap you it's not a nap it's a, I, I call i I, have, I call these pseudo naps i i can't really nap unless i'm like so exhausted from like pulling an all-nighter then i can nap i can't nap as a person but like i can shut my brain off or like i'm not really home like i'm there but no one's home mm. <laughs> So I, I can, that's a pseudo nap, whatever, call it what you want. So how is it going to be on the graphic? I think that's, important. <laughs> I'm, I'm claiming nap for other people who have the ability to nap. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put nap. Okay. My number six is a game called 21 cup. It's not very, I mean, you've played it, right? What? Yeah. I played it with you. Yeah. It's not very it's a long, it was a long night. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one of those games where. If you play it and you play a couple games of it, you're gonna you're gonna get pretty drunk. We people. played like five games of it, dude. Because it's addicting and it's a great competitive game. If you like competitive, you're a competitive person, you're gonna love 21 Cup. So pretty much for all the people out there that don't really know what it is, it's you know, I mean everybody knows the game beer pong. Everybody knows that. Um, instead of 10 cups a side, it's 21 cups per side, hence the name. I think we played oh sorry, no one. I, and it's I was three sure. people per team. So pe- three people per team. And it's kind of continuous um, pong in a sense where there's three balls and you say, ready, set, go. And there's just instant, instant throwing left and right. You know, you got to get your rebounds and keep throwing. And then there's a re-rack every um, triangle. So like after the first six, then the next five, then the next four. Um, and then whenever the person you're matched up against hits one, you can't throw and you have to drink their drink your cup before you can throw. It's a great game. Um, I get into it a lot. I love, I love, you know, it's, I look, you get sweaty after a couple games of it. Cause I'm out there hustling on defense. Um, it's just, yeah. Um, one of those games where it's, um, if, if you're going to have one of those nights, mines will go all and play a game. That's fun, competitive, good to have like tournaments of it. If you're going to do, you know, if you're in a competitive mindset, um, overall, just great thing to do. One of my favorite things to do when I'm drinking and having one of those nights. So 21 mm-hmm. cup. Um, I think we played on your 21st birthday. I'm trying to remember when we played because I played it one time with you. We played it at Rise, I think, because my I, I played it, I played it in your fraternity one time. Well, we weren't at my fraternity yet at my 21st. Yeah, we were. No, my 21st was at home. In oh, in, wh- who's like Bar Louis? It was it whose birthday? It was Angel's. It was Jake's, okay. Jake's 21st. No, oh, no, because it was just us. Is it Drew? Drew's I do. I don't know. All all my times there get blurred together. Yeah, I mean, you came. It was definitely at our. It's a bit very big in our fraternity, so that's yeah. probably why. Um, you're, good if pick. Fraternity and watching it, make sure to vote for me. So. Yeah, fair enough. Um, my what am I? What are we at? Seven? No, six. Six. Good. Uh, my six. Uh, similar to something you said earlier, where it's just easier to throw away money. Um, when you're when you're drinking. Uh, I don't do this a lot. If I do, it's a rare occasion, but it is a great, almost like almost selfish thing to do. Uh, but just to say round of shots on me, like just buying a round of shots for the table. I know it, it sounds unselfish, but it's kind of selfish because you want all the glory for like buying drinks. Uh, it's um, definitely more unselfish. I think it's 50 50. Um, Depends but, on how many people. Yeah. But like <coughs> saying round of shots on me, it's a great feeling. She's like, yeah, give me count that's how many shots we want buying shots for the whole group it, it brings the energy up yeah. immediately you're like whoa all right it's like it's like a getting sparked back to life a shot will wake the whole group uh up so if like you feel a lull you're like all right energy is kind of dying maybe it's like 12 30 pushing one it could be the time of the night where people are like you know what let's just call it and boom round of shots on me boom. wake shots wait, yeah me. yeah boom. boom wake the wake the whole squad up like that 
Uh, it's electric moment. It's a transitional moment where like this this night can go one way or the other, and this is the moment where the night changes. That's the that's the moment. Uh, yeah. So it's important. It's an important moment. So a round of shots on me moment number six. Yeah, you either you know after that round you either have people that are done for the night and dead. Mm-hmm. You have people that are energized and ready to keep going, and it's going to be another two hours at, at the nope. night. And you know exactly. You know one thing. The, the second you take that shot, you know which side you land on. Yeah. Immediately, you're like, I'm either staying here for two hours or I am going home. You know, yeah. right when you take that. It depends if you have the little uh, coming mm-hmm. up or not. Um. So similar to that, I don't know. Uh, this has always been a bucket list for me. Obviously, it would have to be a little bit while it's down when I have hopefully more money and everything. But if I know I what you have to yeah. do. I've always wanted to be in a bar. And it has to have like a good amount of people where it's, you know, big enough to where you're just like, hey, everybody yeah. like next rounds on me. It's happened to me one time when I was at Harry's and somebody bought a round for all of upstairs, which wow. is absolutely insane. It was on alumni weekend. So that's why it probably it was probably just a Jeez. merchant alumni. But still, like it was the whole crowd and the whole upstairs just got into it and was just so like every everybody's not just your group's vibe everybody's vibes up and it's just it would be something that would be cool everybody would come up to you and say thank you so i guess it is kind of selfish but at the same time it's probably a lot of money so i think everything is inherently selfish the more yeah. that i think about it because we just described two very unselfish acts and we're like you know what it's kind of selfish. selfish yeah so everything we do for ourselves you do you do unselfish things for gratitude which is selfish selfish yeah. Um, all right. What's, what's your number five? Hey, is it my turn? Yeah, number five. Okay, my number five is something I probably should have done about four or five hours ago, but I didn't. And that is showering. Um, I talked about it, I think, was it, it was either the last episode or two episodes ago with the whole beer thing, a shower beer. That was oh, Noah's. Shit. Noah drinks shower beers because he doesn't want his parents to catch him drinking beer, which is one of the crazier moments we overlooked last yeah, episode. Yeah, no, but I also topped out on, like, top 10 drinks, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the shower beer, again, is just awesome. But it's not just the shower beer because drinking while you're just, like, <laughs> you know, you could have that shower beer as a pregame by yourself or you could have shardies. Yeah, shardies. They're called shower parties shortened to shardies which sounds weird but shardies we had open showers in my fraternity house so there's like six you know shower heads and the giant Bo- both heads. sound weird not just combined sh- shower party still sounds weird i, I hope you you know that right it sounds i think it sounds, i need you i need you to know that for my sake i can't i i can't i know shower parties how does that sound weird you get a shower and cleanse yourself and you know and drink but no, it's just you get the speaker in there, you get music bumping, and you're just showering and just like throwing beer back. It's it's great. It's a great time. Um, but yeah, just drinking when you're in the shower is hits different. It hits different. And there's something about like, I don't know, that freeing feeling of, you know, being, you know, nude and water running on you. Okay, that sounds and just drinking. So yeah. Right. And you could spill some on yourself and then wash it right off just like that. You know, you don't have to like care for mm-hmm. you know, being all you could just Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm pro shower beer. I talked about it last episode. I'm very pro shower beer, so I don't I don't hate that. Um all right, my number five. <coughs> this is a uh post drinking thing, but it's still associated with it. Uh this is what I like to call the in quotes last night was a movie morning talk. So this is uh okay. this is when you know you you have a night out, uh you're visiting the boys. In all my situations, like we're visiting the boys. That's just what I thought of. Um we're visiting the boys, you spend the night, you everyone just crashing on couches, sleeping on floors. You wake up the next morning, someone's up first making some coffee, you get some coffee, and you just start talking. You're like, dude, do you remember you did that last night? Dude, I told you that was so crazy, dude. I can't believe you did that. Don't wait. And then you did this. Dude, I have a video of you doing this, this, and this. Dude, last night was a movie, last bro. Night was a movie. Movie. Uh, yeah, that. That talk. Uh, as much as it's a meme and like people are like, oh, dude, last night was a movie. Uh, it's actually kind of fun just like to relive what the night. Just like shoot the shit and make fun of each other for how dumb you were the night before. Um, always fun, always fun. And it, it, it always, it doesn't cure a hangover, but it helps ease you into it a little bit when like 
you're just you're just talking about the night before and like you just it gets it gets some kind of energy going a little bit um and it eases you into that that dreadful day after so uh yeah the uh, last night was a movie morning talk is my number five to add on to that i think it's the best when you're at a local diner specifically local diner um, um for example fourth of july lincoln you know, square that's, that's a great time yeah lincoln square but like there's this diner you know right by our place that we went to one time after a night out and it's just you get a shit ton of food you don't eat it all you don't even even close to it all and it's probably going to cost you a decent bit of money but it's just you're, you're reminiscing on the night telling the stories you you all look hung hung over you're in this diner full of older people most likely mm-hmm. that just know you're hung over and like you're bumming and you're like you're walking in there with like sandals in your pajamas like just looking like a bum yep. um but yeah it's a great time <coughs> number four right yep so it's similar to one you had earlier with the whole bartenders and uber drivers but it's a little different this is drunk combos with strangers or people that you know but don't like aren't like friends with mm-hmm. so like you mm-hmm. know or know of but you're not really friends with so they're pretty much kind of like a stranger in a sense yeah where you're when because you, when you're drunk you're gonna like talk to people you don't normally talk to and especially like when you're in the bathroom especially in, like the yeah. men's bathroom there's always some fried stuff happening at like the men's bathroom <laughs> there, there's been a couple of things that i just saw this weekend that i guess some things are more normal than others but it's just I don't know, just you, you know, you're not going to ever like see him again. Well, you might see him again either later in the bar that night or another night, but like you just talk to them for like five minutes in the bathroom or just like at the bar or something. And, you know, it's just a positive experience for the both, even though you're not going to like become best friends from it. You still have that positive experience together. Mm -hmm. Um, And yeah, I don't think I've ever had a bad interaction of just like randomly just having a, a, a good chat with a stranger or someone that like, you know of but wouldn't have talked to if you were sober really you know yeah that it's always those moments where like you you see someone from like high school or grade school that you don't talk to but then you immediately start like talking because like oh we're drunk and we have a connection from our past let's talk and Uh then you walk away from that conversation like dude like kevin from high school is actually like super chill we should hang out more you can just never talk to them again yeah it's literally it yeah i was at the on the mustache crawl i saw will pointer and yeah. we have ever talked to him before. And then we talked there for like, I don't know, probably like five minutes. And I was yeah. like, like, I would have definitely never talked to him ever. But then I was like, we were both drunk at the bar call. So I was like, might as yeah, well. Talk. Might yeah. as well. Like, oh, dude, that dude's sick. I didn't know he's chill like that. Um, Yeah, that's yeah. good. Number four. Um, My number four, it's it's a it's a quick one. It's an easy one. It's a simple one. Uh, It's ride the bus. People have other names for it. Um, I, Irish poker is one of them. I think, and then uh, there's another one, but basically it's simple game. Uh, you go around and it's like black or you have a deck of cards, black or red. Try to guess if you get it right, you give out a drink. If you get it wrong, you take a drink, and then it's high or low, in or out, and then suit. It's a real fat. It's a quick game. Everyone can play it right away. There's no learning curve. You just it's just like answer me, red or black. Boom, yeah. go go drink, and it's it's like similar to the round of shots on me. It can it just ramps up the energy in the room when someone's riding the bus, ramps it up. Mm. But I, <coughs> sorry, when you're playing like individual ride the bus, just like one on one, like one on one, like all right, let's go. Because I'll do this, I'll do this. Uh, all right, I I did this when we were in call like this past year. We're sitting around my apartment and we're just like watching games or whatever, just kind of chilling out, and I could feel the energy kind of dip. I'd be like, all right, who wants to ride the bus? Someone ride the bus, and then you just go, and it, again, it just ramps that energy up. It gets it going a little bit. Um, so similar to the round of shots, I mean, great game. It's the only game I have on my list. Um, it's an easy game, no learning curve, fun game, gets the energy going. The only knack I have on that, be I think it is very simple. It's got a lot of pros. It's simple, like no learning curve. You can have a lot of people too mm-hmm. in it, but the only thing is, like sometimes people just get distracted when you're playing a big game of ride the bus. People are so yeah. easily distracted. We're like, it'll just be stopped at one person for like, I don't know. Sometimes it's a couple minutes. You're just like, Oh my God. Like I just want to like, kind of want to freaking drink. And like, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a smaller group. Yeah. Sometimes like four or five. And especially when like, I don't know, 
when you're trying to get the vibes up, I feel like sometimes it can kill the vibes when it's a lot of people. When it's like when you yeah. get eight to ten people, oh I, yeah, it, it, it can't. Vibe. Unless you do like the whole um, pyramid at the end, a lot of people do. Yeah. That. Some people don't do that, which is kind of weird. Crazy. Um, and like if you don't do the whole, if you get the first drink right, you give out a drink. If you get the second card right, you get you give Two. out. If you don't do that, then it's really not that much. Oh. Money, and it's kind of yeah. I don't know. You gotta so do it right. You gotta I do guess it right. It depends. We're all it is night, yeah. Um, number three, right? Yep. Um, oh yeah. So you t- you talked. I don't know. You talked about this last episode or two episodes ago, but I'm probably gonna steal yours. This is probably on your list too. Um, and it's looking at yourself in the mirror and having a drunk conversation with self. I um, I called it looking at yourself in the mirror slash drunk pep pep talk. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like when I go to the bathroom, I'm only really peeing for you know, a minute or two, but I'm looking at myself in the mirror, they're doing my hair, just like having an internal conversation with myself mm-hmm. for probably the next five, six minutes. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I would say it's one of the most common things I do when drinking just like happens every time I drink, you know, whether it's no matter where I am, you know, <laughs> in the mirror, you know, it's happening. Um, so yeah. Okay. I it's agree. Really- it, uh, that is on my list. It's not this next one, but it's also not my number one. Uh, so you can you can oh. figure that one you can figure that one out. Uh, yeah, but we'll get to that in a second then. Uh, my number three. Oh, get to that in a second. No pun intended. Bang. <laughs> um, didn't like that. My number three. Uh, this is a personal favorite of mine. Uh, again, you just throw money out the window when you start drinking. But this is uh ordering novelty drinks. I novelty love drinks. novelty drinks. Where like weird drinks you can only get at a certain bar. Or like you go up to a bar and they have like these special drinks. I'm talking drinks where they like put like a whole slice of watermelon like off the side of the cup, or they like dump the whole Red Bull in and they leave the can in. Like, like a drink that comes out, everyone turns their heads. Like, who ordered that? You know what I mean? Like, or it could be a big souvenir cup with like sparkles and like a swirly straw. Novelty drinks that are like thirty five dollars, like maybe two shots of alcohol. It's just not worth it but I'm addicted to buying novelty drinks. I got one at Wrigley like um, last summer where they had like two Red Bulls and a pineapple in it. And it was like $35. And I was like, this is awesome. This is the coolest drink ever. I love novelty drinks. Um, okay. I'm addicted to those things. They're really fun, but they're they're They hurt the wallet big time. Yeah. I mean, they're nice. If you know, they're going to be worth it. Like if they have enough, al- if you know, yeah. they have enough alcohol, where it's going to be worth it. And that's going to be one of your only two drinks for the night. Mm-hmm. Then it's low key worth it. Also, I think it's really only worth it, especially if it's like a big, you know, size container You kind of got to be at a table for it. You know, you can't be carrying a, around a giant thing. Yeah. With Red Bulls and a pineapple in it. If you're just like standing up in a crowd. Yeah. You gotta be sitting down There's specific times for it. But yeah, it, that is a nice place. And I would also argue it's never worth it. It's never been worth it to order one of those drinks, but it's still fun. I think sometimes, I think sometimes there's enough bang for your buck there. There could be. There I think could so. Be. Um, okay, my number two, and I just thought of one that I'm going to say my own mention. I'll, I'll, I imagine you say it. I don't. If you don't and we both forgot it, then I'm going to be very – Well, it would have to be my number one, but don't say it. I know. I won't say it. Wait, should I say it? No, okay. don't. Don't you – I won't. We, I won't. We've been good. We've been good. No, we've been good. But if you don't say it, I'm going to say it for the honor mention. I think I'm going to be like, how the fuck did we not say okay. that? All right. Um. So my number two <laughs> is actually how – I tore up my knee um, and had to get stitches, but it's still, nonetheless, even with its cons, it's still a fun game. You can do it sitting down. You can do it standing up and that is beer dye. And that is the most peaceful. You can drink a lot during beer dye. You can drink as much as you want. You can drink. It can be a casual game, but especially stand up on a nice day. Nothing hits more than beer dye. You can get competitive with it, you tournaments, but it's just a casual casual game and i guess there is kind of a little bit more of a learning curve than like ride the bus but when you get it it's fun you get stand on your feet get a couple steps in for the day um that's good especially for darties um and just like yeah when the sun's out when did you do that to your knee um senior week playing die i was playing die and gravel lot in a gravel lot and i was 17 beers deep at this point um so in three hours just to just a heads up, this is why it happened. Yeah. Um, I would have caught the die if, you know, possible. But there was a die that my partner was trying to FIFA to me, 
and it was a very hard, which FIFA also super great part of the pure dive, but there's a dive FIFA did to me and I was diving for it. No pun intended. Thank you. Um, and I, I don't get the pun there. Diving for it. Oh, that, Come that on. was, that was, that was Come not on. even close to what? being good. What? That was no, oh, no. On. I'm talking about beer dot. That's half. Okay. Whatever. And I was diving for the die. Diving for the die. Okay. I get, I get it. Help with the pun. Okay. <laughs> I was diving for the die and I don't know. I kind of just, it was kind of happened so fast. I fell in some gravel and, you know, it was a pretty fast dive and hard. And then, you know, cut my knee open. It was pretty deep. Had had to go to the hospital and get six stitches and did not catch the die, which was sad, but still a fun time. I'll still play. I still played it like a couple days after it happened. You know, there's yeah. no fear. Just going back no, into it. No Great fear. game. It's a good game. I agree. Nice game. Uh, my number two, bathroom mirror self-talk. It's awesome. It's so much fun. I mean, just, again, it's it's very uh wholesome. Uh, yeah, my top two, it's very wholesome top two. Um. But number two, you just, it's just wholesome when you sit there and talk to yourself in the mirror. It's just it's just you, yourself, and I. And no one's going to have your back like you are. No one's going to be your own best friend like you are. And you just you look yourself in the mirror and you say, I got your back. No matter what, at the end of the day, I got you. And that's that's a great moment. It's a great moment to have. You have it. Multi- the best part is you have it multiple times throughout the night. It's like a little like check-in with yourself. Like, all right, we're, we're still good. Hour later, because you got to pee quick. Hour, maybe 30 minutes later. Just check in. Still good? We good? All right, let's go. Let's kill it. That's and it. Yeah. Towards the end of the night, it might be like, uh oh, why am I? Yeah. Why, why am I? Why does myself look a little? <laughs> Towards the end of the night, the words stop. The words of affirmation, and it's just laughing at yourself. You just look at yeah. yourself and just, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's always that. I'll, I'll verbally laugh at myself, just looking at myself in the mirror, and you're like, wow. Um, but yeah, uh, mirror self talk. It's awesome. It's very fun. Very wholesome. I agree. Um, my number one, which I think we might have seen number one, actually, now think about it. Um, my number one is simple. There's a lot of, actually, there's actually only one definition for it. Um, but it's just, whenever I drink, I do it. No matter where I am, I think it happens. No matter what's happening, it's just the number one thing I like doing, the number one thing I do, and that is dancing. Just dancing. Because whenever you're in a bar, there's going to be music. And it's one thing to just stand in a bar and just like talk with your friends and just kind of be like, oh, like, damn, she bad, you know, like, uh, but or, or you could be like, you know, like kind of, you know, getting a little jiggle into it and then be like, you know, damn, she bad. And so you look at least a little bit less awkward doing, you know, the whole, you know, finishing the night with 17 damn, she bads and zero girls talk to. So yeah, it's a tough ratio. Um, I like but that. That's a dance, simple. When you dance well, like I do, the girls. Mm-hmm. Can- yeah. It's true. Um, I like that pick. I like that pick. It's it, it it's something that just tends to happen when you drink, and whether you're a dancer or not. You enjoy dancing. You your your dancing ability increases in your uh, uh overall number of, ah in your mind. In your mind, yeah. yeah. Your confidence. confidence. Confidence increases. The more the likelihood of you dancing increases. Like if I, you put me in that same situation sober i'm probably not going out on the dance floor like i was like if i'm out of bar or whatever but if you're more drinks than you way more likely to go out there and just cut a rug so i agree it's a good pick um my number one has not been said um this is a an- another like stereotype but when you break it down to its core it's a very wholesome moment um and i'm calling this the i love you man speech this happens you know the boys are just sitting around. I imagine like a campfire. We're, we're, it's been a long, long night. We're kind of winding down. And then you get so drunk and you're just like, you're broken down to your core. And you just look around you're like, you know what, guys? I love you, man. I love you guys. And then someone breaks down and like starts just like confessing their love to all the boys, which is a very wholesome moment. Because you think about it, you're like, after a long night of drinking, you're worn down. You are a shell of a shell of yourself. And but you're still thinking at its core when all your walls have dropped. You're like, you know what? I want to tell these boys that I love them. And that's very wholesome. And I love that. 
And it is, a, it's become a stereotype where like, oh, here they go again with the like, as soon as anyone says a compliment to a guy after a few drinks, they're like, oh, here we go again. He's doing the, I love you, man. It's, it's like become a meme in that sense. But I think it's a very wholesome thing. It's a very yeah, wholesome it's, thing. It's, yeah. 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 No, I agree with that. Those, those are nice. I feel like they're, I don't want, I, I can, yeah, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to double down and say this. I feel like they're becoming, at least in my experience, with just the times I've drank as I progress in my years of drinking. Wow. That sounds weird. Mm-hmm. But like, as I progress and get older, I feel like it's happened less and less. A really? Bit. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. The times. I the think. Times have, I, don't know, I just feel like, like, I feel like I think back to like senior year, freshman year and like mm-hmm. sophomore year. And I was like, damn, I feel like that happened. Like, yeah. Every single, every every single time. I now like, I think oh my, my theory, my theory is we get we mature and we get better at expressing our emotions, so it's not all bottled up and doesn't come out when we drink. No, I think we, I think I we're better at it. I think we yeah. are. I think we mature. We're emotionally mature. I think it's just become more unspoken, you know. Yeah, like we. Where there's other ways to to be like do the whole "I love you, man" speech without, mm-hmm. you know, totally. saying that. whether it's just like the whole like you know like you good like if you if you see someone like had a shot and you're like. Like you good, bro. Like that's your sign of saying, like I love you. Like yeah. you good, man. You, I do okay? love the whole spectacle of it, though. When yeah. someone's like, cause the best is when you think they're about to say something like funny or like a, get tell a story. They're like, hey, yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got something. To say. I got something to say. I love you guys. It's always that they always like pause everyone. They always like, like no one else speak. I have something to say. I love you guys. It's all. It's awesome. It's very wholesome. Um, and I love always- it. There's always the couple of people that are just like, oh my Yeah, they're God. like, dude, shut the fuck up. No one Which cares. That honestly adds to it. I think that makes it better. You've yeah. always got to have those people. Yeah, because then, then, then it just becomes then, you know dudes those, loving each other. Pause. Because then you know those people that say like, oh, like really this again? Like, yeah. they simply like that. They think. Oh, no, yeah, they love it. Yeah, that's great. Um, oh, wait, can I say right. more? Yeah, I want to I hear what the one you thought of was. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of this. I don't know why you didn't say it. I guess maybe you could have said it and I just zoned out or something. Because um, that happens sometimes. No offense. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, like drunk door dashing when you get back from a bar. I, I was so close. I almost had it. Either um, drunk door dashing or drunk throwing a pizza in the oven. Yeah. Drunk yeah. food was very contentious. I almost had it on my list. Um, I, was, I was thinking about – I thought of it after number three, and I was thinking about switching it with beer dye, and I was like – yeah. If I thought about it before, I would have switched it probably with like six. I, or five, I but... had a reason for not putting it on there, but I can't remember why. Maybe it's because I've talked about it a lot. I've talked about my DoorDash addiction. I've talked about like getting, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a little uh, recency bias where I've talked about it enough where I didn't feel like putting it on my list again. But that's a good one. That's a really good one. What other honorable yeah. mentions do you have? I don't really have any. Oh, my other one is kind of cheesy, but it's. Doing an episode of Top Ten Tuesday with my friend Wyatt. Yeah. You can always count on me for a reason to drink, Michael. You can always count on me. Well, I actually I wasn't gonna drink tonight, and then, well, this is actually only my <laughs> second beer, but like I was just like, you know what? Like, the theme is Top Ten Tuesday. It's you true. know, top things to do when drinking. Like, mine's well. Might yeah. as well. Might as well. Might as well. Well, this is uh this has been our first ever twenty one plus episode. Uh, if you're over, if you're under twenty one and you watch this, uh, cops are on their way. The cops are on their way. We've already called them. Um, you will be under arrest and you will be taken to jail. Uh, juvie maybe depending. Or would on... we get in trouble for promoting? Under- no, because because we said it was twenty one plus. We are now. I said I said it right now. We are after. We are. I, I said it though. They don't know. I edited it. A so disclaimer. We we're, we're this what we're recording right now was actually filmed before the whole episode. So yeah. I just edited. It. It's just edited. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I have no idea what your list is. I don't know what my list is. Um, we haven't said anything yet. This is the very beginning of the show. Um, but yeah, it's a twenty-one plus episode. So I hope you weren't listening if you were under twenty-one. Uh, but thank you. The votes will or the polls will be up on Wednesday as usual. There will be no guests. So it's between Michael and I. A little dual, uh, du- hey, just dual. I was gonna say dual something, but it's just a dual. It's a one on one. It's a one on one duel. Um, like it used to be. Yeah, back in, just, back in the day, back in episode one, series okay. one. Yeah, we'll say that. Um, so yeah, go vote on Twitter and make sure you subscribe.
to YouTube right now. Click the subscribe button, like it, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all tomorrow on Wednesday. Love y'all. Peace.